right. I like this. This is nice. Being able to do this inside in such a small space. See how much cereal it makes. It looked like it'll make at least a big fat bowl. Sheep milk and puffed rice and local honey. It's gonna be so awesome. All right, finally the gauges start to move up. It takes like five or 10 minutes for it to even start moving. This is really thick metal. All right, we're up to two, two bars almost. Gotta get it up to 10. Thank you to my subscriber for getting this too, for me. It's like $78. There's no way I could afford it for a long while. But I know that it's gonna play a huge role. Not, not this one though, this one's too small. And I tried to see if I could send it back immediately, but it's like from China through Amazon and they don't, that particular brand doesn't offer returns. They do, but you gotta like pay the shipping yourself and go bring it into the post office. And I'm gonna do all my testing on it to get the, get the motivation to, to save up and get a, get a larger one now that I'm 100% sure that this is like something that I want to have in my life for the rest of my life. Super solid. This thing will last forever. Only thing that can possibly go wrong is the gusset down there at the end. Good shit. All right, we're done. Right. Put on the gloves. Put on a show. All right. I'm gonna figure out how to get all the soot off this before I stick it in the bag. So maybe I'll just use my hands. Oh, the soot's not bad. It's not too thick. It runs off real easy. Rub it off with my first all right oh wow it's continuing to climb up to 12 awesome yeah. okay da okay Yeah, that's just like a bowl of cereal. Oh, it's so cute. I literally, the capacity of this thing is only half of this cup. It's, it's only 50 to 60 milliliters. So I only put it in half of this cup and I got a bowl of cereal out. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a perfect little bowl for my, for my smallest pot. That's hilarious. Oh my God. So yeah, I just need to get a bigger version of this, I think. That'd be awesome. Oh, oh, there's still some inside. Actually, a lot. Oh, crap. There's a ton inside, actually. Uh-oh. Got some water in there. Get out of there, water. Oh, if I don't get these out, it smells like they're starting to burn or something. This pot is still... Oh, my God. It's totally full. Oh, wow. Okay, so this makes a really big, nice bowl of cereal. Still not quite efficient enough like of, a, of a batch size. I think that uh, the next size up of this, they have like five different sizes. I think that doubling this would even be a little less efficient than maybe quadrupling the quantity. So I think I'll get the second to largest size which is basically quadrupling this. Let's see what this is. Looks like a little bowl of cereal. Yeah, now all I need to do is go work trade for my local Dunbar farm that uh, grows tons of different grains. 
and I will be able to work trade for grain that, like, I could work trade for a year of grain, I bet, within a week. That'd be so cool. All right, I'm trying to get this snow. Okay. Get out. There we go. I don't like this bag. I'm going to start doing it into a colander or something. All right. One bowl of cereal, but I'm going to... Let me see. I'm going to heat up some honey. Take this off. Heat up some honey and stir it in. Stir it into those warm puffs. All right, that should be good. So cool, I've wanted one of these for years. Ever since I've seen someone on YouTube in India selling street cereal, street puff rice. I like one of these. I never thought about selling it on the street like, like him, but now I'm like, oh my God, that's even better I'm doing exactly that with this wagon now. Cause this is, I saw this before I even had a wagon or even thought about making a wagon so there was just no way that I could I won't have one that's big enough to serve other people I was just going to get one this size oh god thank you I love these clamp wood jars they're so much easier than stupid screw lid ones especially these stupid screw lid ones that have two parts to them those are the worst they rust and they smell Oh my God, thank you. Ridiculous. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fresh puffed grain tastes better than store. I didn't, I wasn't even anticipating this. It's just like roasting your own coffee beans. There's more flavor. There is like toasted flavors in this beyond description. This is amazing. Oh, my God. Thank you, God. Oh, my God. I want to start serving this cereal. Sheep milk, local honey, and local puffed grains. I was only... Only half of this cup full. There's probably... Let's see. Yeah, 45 grams is a serving. I used 50 grams. So that means there is 20 of these bowls of cereal in that bag of grain. Because of how it expands, that's pretty impressive. Mm. For transport purposes, this food is so space-saving and so easily preserved. You can hold on to grain and after you puff it, it's not going to stay stay good for very long. I hear, I read that it's only a couple days. Best bowl of cereal I've ever had in my life. Hey, inch down. God, I'm so lucky. This popcorn popper just exploded. I had it right here. And it was getting up to the 10 bars of pressure. And it's, uh, that it was suggesting that uh, you take it off at. You're supposed to take it off 9 to 12 bars. And it was at 10 bars, which it was all the other times that, that I ran it and operated it. And this time, thank God that it popped before I grabbed it because I was just going to grab it. And whew, that scared me. I didn't even know what happened at first. Uh, a couple pieces hit me in the face 
and they actually hurt. Like, <laughs> there was so much force behind it that just these little light pieces of, I mean, it could have been like some unpopped rice grains that hit me in the lip, but my, my lip in particular, that's the one that like, two pieces, one hit here and one hit here, and it actually hurts right now. Like, not bad, but it's, it feels like a blister, like a burn blister or something. Um, that's crazy. That was scary. The clasp has side to side play so that, ow oh man, it's still hot. Uh, so when this is clamped, it's possible for this hook, see, I mean, you can see it's like offset right there. So um, it's easy for it to slip off to the side. And uh, apparently that's what happened. And I'm just grateful that it didn't do it while I was holding it. Cause I don't know if I had picked it up by the end it could have swung open and like pinched my finger in between in between uh, the door and the body of it just by its sheer force. I could see that. There could have been a number of things that could have really smacked my hand and broken a little bone or something like that. Um, that was a lot of force. That was pretty interesting. Wow. <laughs> my God, <laughs> grain exploded everywhere. Oh my goodness. Awesome. We're live. So they sell these with um, two pressure releases, safety pressure releases, and this one, um, apparently they thought that it was the smallest one and it doesn't need one, I guess. Um, yeah, because they usually have two pressure release valves right there that once they get up past 12 bars that they, um, they release the pressure automatically, so. If you had a heart attack or something while you were making this and you or something you, you weren't paying attention then it wouldn't explode yeah seriously i got a welt on my lip that's crazy just from a little piece of fluffy fluffed rice that's crazy all right well i'm not operating this one anymore that's scary i don't like close calls like that <laughs> i don't give them a second chance but we made a uh, and this is how much is in a batch. All that came out of this little container. That's crazy. You just fill this container up halfway. It doesn't even use it doesn't even use a whole cup of this. It just uses a half half this full. It's up to 60. The 60 mark. So just past halfway. You can fill this little metal container up and it puffs rice in 10 minutes to a bowl of cereal, basically. I need to get the next size up, though, because I think the next size up is double the size, so I can add uh, double the amount and get double the amount back just by one 10-minute heating. So I can get two bowls, and I wouldn't have to do this daily. I could just do it once every other day. Or if I got the one that was three or four times larger, I would uh, only have to do it uh, weekly to supply my cereal habits with the sheep milk local honey local honey cereal yeah DIY local honey cereal can't wait okay I tighten this bolt right here so there's no play and then I tighten this bolt right here so there's also no play and therefore there's no ability for this clip to move to one side or the other. I don't think, let me see. Nope, no possible way. All right, almost a pot full of cereal. Let me see if I can make two more rounds to fully fill that up and I will heat up honey and I will drizzle it all over all of that and mix it up so that it's fully coated on the outside and prevents those puffed grain from becoming oxidized. So hopefully, you know, keep them preserved longer. We'll see how long we can preserve them for. Right. Up to 10 bars, ready? Boy.
wearing a mask. <laughs> wearing my property friend's his uh, like weeding mask. Keep my face protected if it exploded again. Didn't seem to puff up quite as much that time. All right, go ahead and jump right into doing this, another load. just past halfway. It's got a hundred milliliter capacity and you're only supposed to fill it up with 50 to 60 milliliters grain. This container is still really hot. So if I can, if I hurry up and reload batches I can stick them on and they finish out in like a fraction of the time than it would if I heat it up from cold damn dude I don't like that how'd that just happen seem to uh, seem to break that seal on its own. That was weird. Why is that happening? That doesn't make me trust this damn thing. Dude, you saw that. That just popped open like that. This is like hair pin trigger. This is two hair pin trigger. I, I thought it was due to there being the play and and these, but it's it's the angle of this. I don't like that. Sketchy. So it looks to me, it looks to me like this used to be more of a hook, hooking up, and it looks like it bent down slightly, so that it doesn't have as much to hook on. That's sketchy, dude. I don't want to use this anymore then. It rides on just the tip. I think that this is inner armature, the tip of it has bent slightly. This still looks like it's nice and curved, but the other one looks like it's lost some curvature. Watch this. I'm not even to the pressure that's needed to seal it yet. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I'm not messing with this anymore. All right, we're done. We're done. We had all the fun we could. Now I need to order 
order a bigger one that is not a Chinese knockoff, one that's an actual company that um, has, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit more fear of being sued. <laughs> um, there is a brand called Mr. Popcorn uh, that I found that is, um, it has all the safety valves on it and uh, doesn't have Chinese wording on it and stuff. So it seems like it's a, might be a little bit more legit. All right, I got a bigger, better one. And the armature on it is a lot beefier. It's not going to bend. And it's got this nice, nice uh, rotating so that uh, when you're filling up the chamber, you can actually lay it flush on the table. The other one, its little handle was sticking out permanently so that you had to hold it in your lap in order to fill it. Gotta make some cereal, short, brown rice Lundberg's brand organic non-gmo i am so grateful to have this 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 one feels so much more quality and it's got two different steam release valves at the top that start releasing at 16 16 bars kilograms per centimeter it only takes about 10 minutes to do a batch that's why i wanted to move up in size so that if i'm going to spend 10 15 minutes setting up and processing some puffed grain that I have uh, an adequate quantity enough for my work, my time. My work, <laughs> my finger turning it's so awesome. It's that, this, this handle feels so much better. How it's rounded like that, I like that, it feels good. The whole thing feels more quality. I think there was a, what was that silly message that was printed on the outside of the other one? I forgot, but that kind of made it look cheap. This just has the company. Bayo. Bayo. I don't know, I got it at mrpopcorn.com. When, uh, when I was looking into these, that's the website that kept coming up and all their all of theirs looked really quality, but they were a little bit more expensive. I think this one was 100, 129, I think. A good sheep. Hopefully I don't scare them. Too bad. Too badly. Good sheep, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I burned, yeah. That took way too long to, to cook them. It smells burned. Smells a little burned. Good sheep! Yeah! Let's check this out. And it comes with... And it also comes with this awesome... This awesome shovel spoon. To, I guess, clean it out afterwards, because... Usually there's a bunch in there. I don't look at it this time, let's see. It smells really strong. It smells very strong, like roasted. Like not burned, but it smells like, it reminds me of coffee. It smells good. It's just surprising that I don't like this net bag. Everything is getting caught and it's not pouring out well. Like it'd be way cooler if it was just one big canvas bag. I'm assuming that they're doing the net at the, at the bottom to allow for the gas to escape. But if they made this longer and maybe, maybe um, it opened up and had a bigger area inside, then it'd help that to dissipate. And then it would be easier to empty because it pours right through canvas seems actually it's getting caught on that too so i'm gonna need to figure something out because that's obviously the first inefficiency point i don't like all that stuff i don't want to have to clean that stuff that's silly oh and it's getting stuck over here so I, yeah this is uh these bags are not the best doesn't seem i have to upgrade that all right Let's see what these taste like
Interesting. Wow. It's like toasted this time. That's good. Dank. And I'll stir that up with the shovel. It's hilarious. Take out these silly gloves and put out this fire. Yeah. You ready to milk, Mama? We still haven't milked this morning yet. Oops. All right. Stir up the honey into the cereal, the warm cereal, the porous cereal. Have it absorb the honey. Cold milk from last night. Hey, give me say. goodness. Thank you, God. Homemade sheep milk cereal. Mm-hmm. Thank you, God. Right, poured half of it in, and I'm gonna heat up this honey until it's liquefied. And then I'm gonna mix it up. I'd wanna get one twice as big as this if I was going to be trying to feed anyone other than myself. See the sheep here, you go. Good sheep. Good sheep. You sheep. No, it's not for you. It's for me. No. No. Get out of here. Rainy out, rainy day. Thank you, God. Awesome. Homemade cereal and sheep milk. Homemade puff cereal and sheep milk. Thank you, God. Awesome. Wow. Better than any cereal on the shelf. Hands down. I've ever had. Ooh. I think I lost most of it on the ground. Chickens are going to be happy. I'd say that, that one puffs the best by far. That was the Arabio rice. I lost a lot of it on the ground, too. I need more. And we are frickin' done there, too. Wow. wow. This is fucking 
so pimp shit, it's ridiculous. What's up with MTV Cribs? Like, was that called Cribs? My show, or Pimp My House or something. I don't know, it seems like they have lots of houses, house stuff, and nothing is as pimp as this. Being able to have your own milk supply and cereal supply, egg supply, cheese, butter, meat, except for that meat in there. The hamburger, man, that hamburger was good. It's high fat hamburger, ground hamburger. Oh my god, thank you, God. Oh, I'm gonna start whipping the milk first. I want to try to experiment with whipped milk cold in cereal. This is better than any cereal I've had in my life. And I grew up on cereal, consider myself a cereal connoisseur and snob nowadays. My god, this is the best honey smacks. I've ever had in my life. Like ridiculous. I don't think people have any ideas. A couple with the sheep milk. This is ridiculous. Chicken, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness. That was the biggest best bowl of cereal I've had in my 42 years of eating cereal and milk. That was amazing. You guys like that? That's good, huh? There's a bunch over there on the ground that exploded out of the bag. Happy chickens. Yeah. There's oh be nice. I was just about to say they're so happy. <laughs> Jerry, silly boy. Puffed quinoa. Does it work? Yeah, it worked. Yeah. Mmm. That's really good. In 45 minutes, I was able to make a bag. I think I could cut it down to half an hour easily. And look, it even has air in the bag. Just like real cereal. Now this is more real. This is real cereal. Four different types of grain, all puffed fresh. Quinoa, puffed quinoa. So cool. Got my week's worth of cereal. <laughs> all right. Now I just need to figure out how to be able to operate this with my stick burner stove so that I'm not required to use these alcohol stoves that have a precise flame. It's in a short squatty little, little uh, burner that can fit underneath this short little. I need to raise 
this and then have this underneath it. That would be about that high. That'd be perfect. That's the game plan. And then I will have a fully, fully off grid grain puffing system. It's portable.